We have been talking about uh, rebacks in the Magic the Gathering community, and we recently saw a few rebacks that uh, may or may not have been uh, submitted to BGS. And it will, <laughs> um, I know it's a little painful to watch, but it will also defeat the Ben test. So in the Magic community, there has been uh, sort of this uh, gossip or urban legend that there are these Italian super fakes made between 2004-2006 era. So I'm going to show some kind of interesting and scary stuff today. So first, here, here's the card. Really, relatively nice Beta Savannah. Looks clean. A lot of us ha have long relied on um, have long relied on weighing a card. It nails it. So it, it weighs 1.71 grams. Basically perfect for a magic card. Uh, Raphael Uste has been helping us and uh, sort of teaching us some new methods of detecting uh, these rebacks and hopefully we can share that in, in a later uh, video as well. Um, the other thing to sort of notice that typically people rely on is a uh, light test and it might be a little bit tough to see but there, there's really nothing particularly unusual in a light test for this card. It'll obviously defeat the, the, the red dot test in, in the in the green dot, uh, the L, uh, it'll obviously defeat that. Doesn't have anything unusual here that would make me think that um, it is a reback. Like maybe it has a little bit more resistance than usual, but you also really shouldn't be bending your cards because this passes, again, every single test that one would throw at it. The reason that this is actually a counterfeit and a, and a reback lies, if I can get this on camera, lies in here. So immediately the sort of first thing that we are looking for is how this little forest is aligned. So a left alignment in here typically indicates um, either a CE or potentially an alpha, um, but it is not characteristic on a beta card. It's really only characteristic on a CE card. And if you look closely, you're going to see that below the tree is uh, one layer of green dots that sits inside of the circle. And on a beta card, that circle, that crescent, um, is yellow underneath that forest. And so what is really remarkable is that um, this is really like, as we've covered, we, this defeats every single test. But I also wanted to point out, um, if you look at the copyright registration here uh, and you compare this to a genuine beta card, the genuine betas have a uh, white crescent on the left side as part of the printing process, whereas CE does not. So, um, you know, those are just two methods that we use to detect uh, these rebacks now. Uh, the nice thing is I believe some of this can be solved in software, but of course time will tell. Um, however, if you're into uh, computer vision, uh, please reach out because uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that we, we would love to do. Uh, we're hiring and we can pay you in magic cards or we can pay you uh, salary or contract, whatever it is. Um, but we have a ton of cool ideas in the works. You should all be vigilant. Your beta cards might be indistinguishable from a reback unless you compare the very fine details on the front of the card. Keep your eyes peeled, and if you do come across more of these uh, really awesome, <laughs> awesomely done, uh, horrifying for our community, but uh, expertly done uh, rebacks, please reach out to us because uh, we're trying to build a library of these uh, with a few of our community members and would love to have access to more of these so that A, we, we have them in our library, and B, that I'm hoping we can train an AI with it uh, to aid us in, in detection. Thanks for watching. This is Encore from Purple Mana.